Well, good morning. Good morning. Thank good morning. you for joining us this morning. Um, I am so excited to be here. Uh, literally just flew in uh, from Nevada uh, and was able to come and join uh, Matthew and the folks at Flirty this morning. Um, you are, if you haven't met him yet, you are going to meet Matthew Sweeney, who is the founder and CEO of Flirty. Uh, and he has been such a leader in the company, has been a leader in our state. Um, I say it all the time, Nevada is an innovative state and it's companies like Flirty and the Silver State's FAA designation as a drone test site that are helping lead uh, the charge. Nevada, especially Northern Nevada, has undergone a renaissance and it's so exciting to, to watch this transformation of my state as it continues to be an epicenter of technology and innovation. You know, the unmanned aircraft systems industry uh, as a whole accounts for more than $4 billion in economic activity each year and is expected to grow to $14 billion by the year 2025. And the unmanned aircraft systems industry has the potential to generate billions of dollars and thousands of jobs across the country. This amazing technology can improve our quality of life, deliver packages and medicine, help search and rescue teams locate victims of natural disasters, help construction teams build roads, bridges, and tunnels, monitor our infrastructure to prevent gas leaks and oil spills, and they can also help reduce the chances of our workers being exposed to dangerous situations. And that's just to name a few, but I, I really wanna talk about those first two points of improving our quality of life and facilitating the movement of good, goods safely so that consumers get their products quicker. Supporting the development of UAS technology is one of my type priorities here in the United States Senate. Um, and in the Senate, I will continue to support Nevada's leadership as the innovation state in order to better our communities, not just in Nevada, but really across the country. Um, let me talk a little bit about uh, why it is so important to have this collaboration. We were just talking about this where you have um, Flirty, a, a private company coming together uh, with our uh, folks at the FAA and the federal uh, side as well as, as Congress working together. Uh, it is important. It is important if we are going to take that step into the future with this new technology. So there's a couple of things that we had to do and prime and prep and get ready for in, in Congress. And one of those things uh, that was important for me um, was ensuring that we are fighting for federal opportunities and legislation to fund and extend operations at the multiple federally designated Nevada drone testing programs that help provide the data and knowledge for us to safely integrate drones into our national airspace. In fact, just this last Congress, I was able to pass critical pieces of drone legislation as part of the FAA's reauthorization. And those included um, the Drone Safety Enhancement Act, which, which authorizes one million annually for the No Before You Fly drone public service campaign and requires the federal government to work to ensure there are guardrails in place, such as requiring a review of federal UAS coordination efforts. We also um, worked on, and uh, I was able to get past the UAS Critical Infrastructure Protection Act, which also passed as part of the FAA reauthorization. It requires Congress to set specific deadlines for rulemaking for legal drone activity around designated critical infrastructure. We also uh, worked on the Safe Development Research and Opportunities Needed for Entrepreneurship Act. That's the Safe Drone Act, and it would advance the integration of unmanned aircraft systems, which would include reinstating a drone registration, developing a trained UAS workforce through community and technical colleges, extending the UAS test sites in Nevada, and outlining a formal regulatory strategy for the unmanned aircraft system traffic management. Um, I've also been fighting in the Senate for bipartisan legislation that would provide more funding, $6 million, towards unmanned aircraft systems research to safely and responsibly integrate this technology into the national airspace. Uh, we were also talking about this early. A key to this is, this is bipartisan. This is a no-brainer. This is everybody coming together. Uh, working together, and, and I, I think that's an important um, 
function. It's not only this administration, it's not just Congress, it is the private sector, it is everybody uh, working to make sure that not just Nevada, but our country uh, leads technologically. We have this not only technological advantage, but economic advantage for our country. It creates good jobs, and we have incredible uh, private sector folks like Flirty here today that I am so excited to be able to join. So just over, um, I think it was about two years ago, Matthew, I, I toured their state-of-the-art manufacturing facility and saw their work firsthand. Flirty's, Flirty's mission is to save lives and change lifestyles by making delivery instant. And I can't tell you how proud the state of Nevada is to have Matthew and the whole team at Flirty. So thank you. I am thankful for the, the jobs that you've created in our communities. I'm excited about the bright future you're driving uh, for your country, uh, excuse me, for your company and for Nevada's position, again, as the innovation state. Um, I, was a, I was proud to support Flirty in the city of Reno as they applied for and were selected in the highly competitive FAA Unmanned Aircraft Systems Integration Pilot Program, uh, a program that received over 140 applications and had only 10 selected. So um, by introducing uh, high-tech ways to grow and diversify our local economy and develop industry-leading innovations, Flirty, the city of Reno, and the stakeholders involved in this effort are leading the way in revolutionary drone delivery technology. And I am so proud to be able to say that that technology is in my state and be able to say that I am a partner with all of you. So with that, let me introduce to you Matthew and the CEO and the folks at Flirty. Thank you so much. Thank you, Senator. Thank you to the FAA who's here today. And thank you to the Flirty team for making this unveiling possible. We stand here today 50 years after first landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the Earth. Imagine if we apply the mission-driven speed of the space race to today's technologies to accelerate the pace at which we're making the world a better place. I'm here to tell you that a new age of technology is dawning, and it is being driven by mission-driven technology startups. The more ambitious your mission, the fewer competitors you have. And when competitors eventually follow your lead, you accelerate the pace at which the world changes for the better. Flirty's mission is to save lives and improve lifestyles by making delivery instant for everyone. As a student of philosophy and as an entrepreneur, I'm driven to understand why the world is the way it is and how to change it for the better by building companies. It's not enough for companies to make money. Companies must make the world a better place. As Kennedy said, some men see things the way they are and ask why. I dream of things that never were and ask why not. Driven by our mission, I boarded a one-way flight to America to pursue the American dream with the goal of conducting the first drone delivery approved by the United States government. Many thought it was impossible. For starters, the regulations didn't exist, and the largest technology giants in the history of the United States of America wanted to claim this milestone for themselves. From the beginning, the drone delivery industry was a David versus Goliath battle. Driven by our mission, Flirty partnered with NASA and delivered medication to the largest free healthcare clinic in the United States, conducting the first FAA-approved drone delivery on American soil. This became the Kitty Hawk moment for the drone delivery industry, and the flirty aircraft that conducted this delivery landed in the Smithsonian's National Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. And it's going on display alongside the Wright Brothers Wright Flyer. 
In less than a year, Flirty had beaten the richest man in the world in a race to make history, which got published and memorialized in the newspaper that he owned. Only in America is this story even possible. We're very fortunate to have pioneered the drone delivery industry, and today we're unveiling its future. Driven by our mission, drone delivery of defibrillators has the opportunity to increase the national survival rate of cardiac arrest up from 10% today to over 47%. When you look up in the sky and see a flirty delivery drone, it could be on its way to delivering a defibrillator to save a life. Drones will also deliver packages when you want them. Today, over 8 billion packages are delivered every year in the United States. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. Regular drone delivery will unlock opportunities beyond our imagination. In the future, drone delivery technology will deliver anything, anytime, anywhere. When you, why go to a bank when you can have cash delivered to you by drone when you need it? Why go to the mall when you can have clothes delivered to you when you want them? And why buy items you use every now and then when you can have them delivered to you by drone only when you need to use them. History shows us that those who don't embrace the future quickly enough will be overtaken by it. The inventor of the digital camera, Kodak, didn't embrace it. And being too slow to embrace drone delivery may be the Kodak moment for many of today's companies. Drone delivery is imminent. Flirty is on track to conduct routine drone delivery demonstrations to homes this year and commercial operations in 2020. Regulatory approval is imminent because the United States government selected Flirty in the IPP, the bipartisan program for fast track regulatory approval for drone delivery. Flirty is earning community trust every day. The technology Goliaths have traded on our data, violated our privacy, monopolized competition, and shipped jobs overseas. Flirty is the independent alternative. Driven by our mission, we protect data, we defend the privacy of our customers, we empower our partners, we manufacture in America, we reduce traffic congestion, and we reduce carbon emissions, and we work hand in hand with the communities who want drone delivery. And Flirty has already built safe drone delivery technology. We hired the head of NASA's drone program and we've assembled a team of industry veterans from Raytheon, SpaceX and leading industry companies, as well as veterans from the Army, Navy and Air Force. Flirty's technology enables the goal of drone delivery in less than 10 minutes. And today, we're excited to unveil the Flirty Eagle, which carries more than double some of our biggest competitors, operates reliably in 95% of wind and weather conditions, and lowers packages safely on a tether while in hover. The Flirty Portal, which fits in a single parking space, enabling Flirty Eagles to operate from storefronts across America, and Flirty's autonomous software platform, which has FAA approval for one remote pilot to oversee 10 drones flying at the same time. The future is here now, and here it is.
paramedics. What's the address of the emergency? Okay, so your grandmother's not breathing. Okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you. Now stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay, I understand you don't have an AED. We're gonna be sending one to you by drone. The drone will arrive in no longer than four minutes. Mission-driven pioneers throughout history have moved at a rapid pace to enable us to envision human flight, create the internet that connects us all, and preserve the light of consciousness. We don't think we're anywhere like Leonardo da Vinci, Tim Berners-Lee, or Elon Musk, but we believe at Flirty we're driven by a very important mission to save lives and improve lifestyles by making delivery instant for everyone. And the world is changing because of that, for the better. Thank you.